Six-time NBA All-Star and the legendary Seattle Supersonics power forward Sean Kemp was known for his vicious dunks. 13 left in this opening period. Look out! The Rain Man brings down a little thunder. Sean Kemp. Nicknamed the Rain Man, he was raining in the paint, dunking on everybody and their mama. He just has a determination and I don't know where he, where he got it from. She's the one. She's the, she's the one that I think made it happen. Speaking of mamas, Kemp was also reigning off the court, if you know what I mean. Proof? Seven children with six different women. This is the family of Sean Kemp, and this is Basketball Dive. Starting off with Sean's childhood though, and the woman who gave birth to him and raised him, meet Sean Kemp's mother, Barbara Kemp. Barbara Kemp was born and raised in Elkhart, Indiana. It is a small industrial city with a population of just about 45,000 people. Elkhart is in the far northern part of the state of Indiana where it nearly touches the Michigan border. It was hard surviving in Elkhart in the late 60s and Barbara was struggling financially when Sean was born in 1969. When Sean was in kindergarten, she had to divorce Sean's father. There is no information about him though. All that is known is that Barbara had to raise Sean by herself, working minimum wage jobs to make ends meet. Despite the tough times, Barbara managed to provide a loving home for Sean and his sister Lisa. A single mother with a son and a daughter to raise, Barbara worked two shifts in the medical records department of a local hospital in Elkhart. She worked hard with and without a job to make sure her kids had everything they needed. Sean would later recall her countless sacrifices, praising her for having raised him with good values and teaching him how to be a man. Uh, you know, she's the one that was competitive with me from, you know, the time I was little, the one that pushed me. Around town, the Kemps were known as a close and loving family. Barbara was truly a loving mother. She was the one taking Sean to basketball practices and games at Concord High School in Dunlap, Elkhart County. She was the one cooking at home and caring for her kids despite being super busy at her hospital job. Barbara would come home tired, but still found time to dedicate to the family she cherished so much. On weekends, they would go to practices and games and to church on Sundays. She respected Sean's hobby and loved that he started playing sports successfully, but she didn't push him and didn't encourage his inclination towards hoops, and as Seattle Times wrote in 1991, Barbara swears Sean Kemp's basketball talent didn't emerge from her portion of the gene pool. Overall, Barbara Kemp was a woman of high personal standards. It's uh, a lot of determination to keep going. She raised her kids with good values, respect, and a huge dose of kindness. Values that would follow her kids, Sean and Lisa, during their entire lives. And who would you think got Sean Kemp interested in basketball? Well, it was none other than his sister, Lisa. It's obvious that Sean Kemp's intelligence and sensitivity flourished in the warm family environment provided by his mother Barbara and his older sister Lisa. So too did his basketball skills. In Mike Bonner's book about Kemp from the Basketball Legends series, Sean mentions, quote, Lisa was competitive with me. She's the one that really got me interested in basketball, end quote. In high school, college, and especially in the NBA, it seemed that Sean Kemp could do everything on the court, but it wasn't always like that. Rewind to his childhood when Sean's sister Lisa would whoop his butt on the basketball playground, Sean remembers that he spent his early days trying to surpass his sister. Lisa was a skillful and talented high school player in her own right, and her competitive spirit and the love of the game is what got Sean hooked on basketball from the beginning. Lisa also taught him how to shoot, making sure that he had the right form. They would spend countless hours on the court as Lisa taught young Sean the secrets of the game she knew and loved. Unfortunately, despite Lisa Kemp's success on her high school team in Elkhart, her prospects for her college career were curtailed by a pair of flat feet, so she had to give up on the dream of playing basketball in her life. But Lisa's legacy remained with Sean and that legacy had basketball written all over it. Sean Kemp was truly blessed with a loving family, especially with an amazing mother and an inspiring sister. Both of them infused in Sean the spirit of competitiveness he needed to succeed and the values that made him into the man he would become. Barbara with all her hard work and sacrifices and Lisa with her basketball knowledge and enthusiasm, they shaped the Rain Man into a strong, self-determined individual who believes in personal commitment and is respectful of people and the game. But what about the other women in Sean's life? It's time to talk about them. 
Make sure to stay till the end of the video because I just can't even, man. You'll see. Sean Kemp definitely had a colorful past on and off the court. His womanizing ways garnered him the reputation of a playboy and ultimately led to him having seven kids with six different women, like we said earlier. As his legendary Supersonics teammate Gary Payton told Vlad TV in an interview, he asked Sean about his lifestyle and his adventures with women, and Sean responded, I was having fun. OG, That's man. your OG? And I asked him about that, and he just said, hey, you know, I, I was having fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, but also pretty sad at the same time. That's just how things were back in those days, kinda, you know? Protection wasn't as widely available, sex education wasn't widely as taught, and being an NBA superstar meant you always had beautiful women around you, and as Gary Payton put it, we could just not resist. You grow up, you ain't had that many women that was gonna say you was fine. The consequences of this mentality certainly affected Sean Kemp and the teams he played for at the time. He was with the Cleveland Cavaliers when the infamous Sports Illustrated article dropped in 1998 depicting his lifestyle and exposing the number of his baby mamas. Sean was not married, but at 28 had fathered seven children already, according to Gerald Phillips, an attorney who represented him in a paternity suit filed by Charlotte Osuna, the mother of Kemp's daughter Dominique, born in 1996. As Sports Illustrated reported, the source with the Seattle Supersonics informed that Kemp's well-publicized meltdown while playing for the Sonics resulted primarily from the increasing pressures of paternity and child support obligations and not a drinking problem as was previously stated. Imagine the pressure though, a 9-year $45 million contract that shows that the Sonics were expecting him to produce and an ever-increasing responsibility to provide for his growing amount of kids. Not that that's not his fault, but that's a tough place to be. In the season's final two months in 1997, Kemp missed or was late to practice five times, including three times in a seven-day stretch in April. It was then, Osuna says, that paternity-related issues weighed heavily on Kemp. Quote, It was like every other day somebody was delivering a total bomb to him, she commented to Sports Illustrated. Kemp averaged 21.3 points per game and 11 rebounds per game before the All-Star break, but 15.1 points per game and 8.5 rebounds per game after it. The Sonics, who had hoped to return to the NBA Finals, lost in the second round of the playoffs to the Houston Rockets. Despite that meltdown, when Kemp was missing practices and missing out, him and Charlotte remained friends, though no longer romantically involved. Charlotte shared with Sports Illustrated that Sean had met really bad women on his path. They said, marry me or you don't see your kid and I will cause hell in your life, he told them. Listen, I pay you all child support, I want to see my children. The names and lives of Sean Kemp's other women are mainly private and they remain away from media and public spotlight, so we'll try to respect that. Some of Sean Kemp's children, though, have become known to the public. For what, you'd ask? For something his pops did best, and I'm not talking about fooling around with a lot of different women, I'm talking about basketball. It's undeniable that having six kids takes a toll on you, especially if they're out of wedlock children. Sean Kemp was stressing out and missing team practices when he was with the Sonics. During a press conference shortly before the playoffs in 1997, Kemp blamed his erratic behavior on unspecified personal problems, but according to a team source, there was no doubt. It was the cost of being a father to a bunch of kids. A team representative would also add, quote, There's no doubt it was on his mind. It definitely became a drag on him, his game, and eventually the whole team. He found out it was going to be real expensive being a multimillionaire NBA star with kids around the country." End quote. Sean's considerable child support obligations were among the financial stresses that precipitated his demand to be traded, according to the Seattle source. But Kemp obviously was frustrated for another reason too. He just couldn't spend time with his kids and he wanted to be closer with them so bad. He wanted to teach them basketball, to be their first coach, to show them how to shoot and dunk. So despite what you might initially think with him having so many kids with so many different women, he did separate himself from others in our series in the sense that he did want to be a father to them. Two of his sons followed his path. His oldest son, Sean Kemp Jr., played basketball for the University of Washington, and another son, Jamon Kemp, played at Southeastern Louisiana University. Sean Kemp's other children, similar to their mothers, also choose to remain private, and it's their right to do so, like I said. All I'm hearing, though, is that with more Sean Kemp's children names surfacing on the internet, the number is now close to 11 kids from 10 different baby mamas. If those rumors are true, then the Rain Man appears to be racking up double-doubles on and off the court. Sorry, I just had to say that. Can you count? 
Sean Kemp Jr., La Princia, Dominique, Jamon, Tiara, Jamar, Trinity, Kenyon, Ah, I've lost it. But hey, there's more on Basketball Dive. If you enjoyed the Sean Kemp story, make sure you watch the wild truth about the family of another player of this era, Dennis Rodman. And if you've watched that already, check out some of these suggested videos on Basketball Dive.